is Sarah Armour, and I study the science of natural and environmental systems at Cornell University. Winter is kind of harsh. You have lots and lots of snow. Everything's super cold. Any water that's available is gonna be completely frozen, and food and shelter is really hard to find. Migration is an animal behavior that many of us are very familiar with where all of the animals in a population move to a warmer climate to avoid the worst of winter. Hibernation is where animals become dormant or inactive during the coldest months, where the hibernating animals use way less energy and can stay cozy, hidden, and safe throughout the winter. So why would some animals want to sleep through the winter? If you're an animal that eats insects, winter weather makes it really hard to find food because insects definitely are not active in cold weather. And if you are an animal that eats plants, winter is a difficult time to get food because most plants are covered in snow. Mammals grow thick fur coats in preparation for winter, and this helps them conserve heat during the coldest months. Many cold climate mammals have blubber, like polar bears and seals, as well as some birds, like penguins. The blubber storage also is a way for animals to have a supply of energy to use during the winter when food is more scarce. One very good way of keeping warm is to minimize the amount of heat that is lost by minimizing body surface area. Cold climate animals do this by having compact and rather squat body forms with small, stout limbs, ears, and tails. The snowshoe hare faces the challenge of sinking into the deep snow as it hops along. To combat this challenge, the hare has very wide hind feet that act as snowshoes to redistribute weight so that they remain above the snow. Polar bears, lynx, mountain lions, and bobcats also have very wide feet some animals change color in the winter to help them blend in with their surroundings. This camouflage helps prey hide from their predators, and it helps predators keep out of sight from their prey. Think of some examples of animals you might see as winter approaches and throughout the coldest months. You might see some fluffy birds and puffed up squirrels with thick coats to keep them warm. Maybe if you're really observant, you can see the tracks of animals that are active through the winter. Even in your own backyard, it's easy to see how animals have adapted to winter. All you have to do to see these cool winter adaptations is look around.